Hello everyone. Today I am demonstrating a four point rotation. I'm going to start my crochet hook going in from the, the east and pulling the hair eastward. Next I'm going to go in from the north, loop the hair on the hook and pull it northward. Third, I'm going to bring the hook in from the west so that I can hook the hair on the hook and pull it westward. And last but not least, we would be going from the south, but there's no more room and we will not over tighten her hair. So I'm gonna move on to the next lock. And the fact that I didn't get in four doesn't mean it's a three-point rotation. Three-point rotation has a different direction. Uh, that just means we it's a four-point rotation. We just didn't get a full rotation in. So again, from the east, hook the hair and pull it east. Second step is going to be from the north. Hook the hair and pull it northward. Third, we'll go in from the west and pull it toward the west. And then last but not least, we would go in, listen, I did not yank her hair. It looks terrible sometimes on video, like you're being heavy handed. <laughs> All right, I'm putting in the crochet hook from the south hooking the hair and pulling the lock southward or in a southern direction. All right. Now, I, uh, I didn't film the back of her head. She, her hair grows faster in the back. And so we were able to get mostly full rotations in the back. Um, her hair was last interlocked six weeks ago, but, um, in the front, her hair, uh, it, it, it grows just not as quickly as, um, the back of her head. So it's important to recognize, uh, when it's time to stop, whatever the direction the lock is, uh, laying in there. looks like I, I caught a snag and so I loosened up so that I could try again. Um, but you don't want to over tighten. So if you don't get a full rotation in, it's okay. If the lock isn't laying downward the way you want it to, that's okay. If they're going to style their hair, especially if they're going to curl it or have a braid out, it won't be noticeable. If they're going to wear it straight, if it's real crazy uh, sticking out, they can use a bobby pin for a couple days. But you do not want to cause um, hair loss, traction, alopecia, anything like that from over tightening someone's hair. So be mindful. And again, on this video, it looks like I am like doing some serious yanking, but that's not the case. And no, that one is not over tightened. I did communicate with her constantly. All right, and so when we needed to stop, we stopped. And uh, she has somewhere between 80 and 100 locks. I wanted to count, but I got to talking too much and I forgot to ask her if I could count her locks. But um, it took us uh, it took us a little while just because I'm slow. So I won't even tell you how long because most people are not as slow as I. All right, so I just went in from the east to pull the hair eastward. Now we're going from the north to pull the hair northward. I usually go north second so that I can finish on the south. Pull it on through. And then we're gonna go in from the west. And if you have loose hairs, go ahead and wrap them around uh, the lock. Wait, did we get another one in or did we stop? Yeah, we got it in from the west and pull the hair westward. Look at how that kind of is sticking up a tad. It'll be all right. And this is what her hair looked like when we were done. It's gorgeous. Her locks are beautiful. She does a great job maintaining them. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Sir God around these parts. Uh, Alpha and Omega. He be finished before we start. Uh, the great I am the one who let us know who we are. Uh, Christ the cardiologist.
just created me a clean heart.